back at the Mountain West Championship with the legend, the voice of sports in San Diego, Ted Leitner. Thanks for joining me for a more, minutes. More, more. Oh, I will, I will do this forever. I told you I'd only keep you for two or three minutes, but all this. It's, it's, it'll it'll show me, please. Yeah. No, stop. Please don't stop. Uh, uh, San Diego State is his duty tonight against Nevada in this Mountain West semifinal. You said you have no idea what to expect. I mean, we're really kind of in that situation with the way both teams have been playing up there. Yeah, it isn't, it isn't the idea that I don't have a feel for today. I don't have a feel all year. Yeah. Yeah. Early on with the expectations yeah. and, and that kind of talent individually, and, and fine young players, and great leadership and the seniors and Billy Pope and Trey Kelly. I thought I knew. And then as things progressed and a loss to Washington State and a loss of home to Cal, and I thought, what? How could this be? So there were missing elements there, and defense was a big part. I think this is the university of yeah. life. And as Steve Fisher always says, you think San Diego State, you think Kawhi Leonard and defense. Yeah. And I would always tell Steve, and Steve Fisher, but he would, he would never buy that. <laughs> but the defense was losing all those great defensive players over the years. They did not have replacements for that. Yeah. So that changed everything. They have to score. Have to score a lot. And their offense kind of feeds their defense more than vice versa. So game to game, honestly, Foolish. How do you think Brian Dutcher has stepped in the role finally after waiting for two decades um, to, to now be the guy? He's got the team playing the best basketball season at the right time. He really does. And the cliche in the board is not how you start, it's how you finish, get ready for tournament time and all that stuff. And Brian knows that, has done that. In Michigan, he's done it here with Steve Fisher. So he's been terrific with that. I mean, that transition was as smooth as you can have in terms of not having to change staff, none of that stuff. And uh, He's been fine, but I'm sure he's been surprised like everybody else that it just hasn't been what they thought. But if they can, you know, now win 20 and today 21, they've salvaged a good year. Four years ago, we sat here and watched a kid like Malik Pope as a freshman mm -hmm. and went, oh wow, and the, the physical ability off the charts, and now he's in his senior year. What along comes Jalen McDaniels, and it's right. like we're starting the cycle all over again. Yeah. You see a lot of Pope in McDaniels. It is, and again, Malik has been really, really good, but I'll always wonder how he could have been. You know what I mean? The injury from high school, which carried over in his freshman year, and then the injury in the beginning of last year, dominating in, in training that I never understand how he would have gotten that. Because with all that talent, it's ridiculous. I mean, what he can do in a basketball court offensively and rebounding is astounding. Yeah. And that's why they thought that freshman year, this is a lottery guy, it's a one and done. It didn't happen, it never really went like this on the chart. But McDaniels is another guy, when, once he learns to defend and he's improved, that's the sky's the limit. Big day for your Padres. Some good news there with Eric Hosmer and some other rumors out there about maybe in, in Arietta. Arietta? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give, give me the rundown on, on what you're looking forward to for the season, but then the division is bonkers for the competition with See, Dodgers, I'm, I'm Giants, always, I'm always up for it. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I broadcast a lot of losses. <laughs> I really have. But, you know, it's Jack Buck, my dear friend, he rest in peace. We used to complain about, oh, we're not very good, and this and that. Jack would take a $100 bill out of his wallet, slam it on the table. This is what we're doing here. <laughs> Shut up, you're in the major leagues. <laughs> so win or lose, and the winning is just a bonus. Yep. But just being in the major leagues and broadcasting it every day, and quite frankly, to answer your question, Rogers, starting rotation is not what you call top contending material, but the lineup with Hosmer now and Chase Headley and Will Myers, pretty darn good. They're going to be better. They know that they expect it to be 2019 or 2020. And they're realistic. And I think the fans have bought into that because they've spent tremendous money on the absolute best young players they've ever had in my 39 years with them. So I have great optimism for them. 39 years with the Padres. This man, the voice of sports in San Diego. Ted, it is an absolute honor take a couple minutes for sure have a great call tonight looking forward to it all right ted leitner thank you